Now a month or so ago I bought this Seat Leon Cupra from Copart. There was supposed to be nothing wrong with it, but we always know there's going to be something wrong with it. Here's what we found. So the first thing we did was get the car into the workshop, up onto the ramp, up in the air, and I had a good look underneath the car. And it's safe to say I pretty much found the reason it was in Copart straight away. The rear axle was really, really rusty. I mean, the rustiest I've ever seen, I think. If you just have a look here, look absolutely covered in the stuff. Now, I bought this car from Scotland, so the chances are it's been a seaside coastal car all of its life, and that is the reason it is in the state it is. So once I'd looked around the rest of the car, it wasn't too bad. Got it back on the road and we took it for a little drive. Engine and gearbox were really strong. So I had a look around the rest of the car. Bumpers out a little bit, nothing major. Both front wings have rusted through. They are original, so it's to be expected. A little bit of seal damage there, which we'll have to take a look at. Exhaust tips were missing. Boot badge was missing. Rear wiper arm was missing. Bit of damage to the rear tailgate, nothing major. So off that, I compiled a little list of all the things I thought the car needed to get it roadworthy, and you can see the list there, look. Now, based off that, I then spent a load of money on the car buying two new front wings, a whole new rear axle kit, completely refreshing the rear axle of the car. I bought an exhaust system, I bought two dampers, a rear anti-roll bar, front disc and pads, rear disc and pads, and I'm sure I spent some other things, boot lid as well, and bought a load of paint for the car as well. So after doing all that, we've got a few things to finish, well, quite a lot of things to finish off in today's video. We have this near side front wing here, which I'm gonna repaint. Actually looks really good like that. It looks pretty much fine, but I wasn't happy with the finish, so I'm gonna repaint that wing. We also have um, a bit of metal to weld in there, because you can see where it's rusted through at the bottom where the wing bolts to the inner chassis. Um, we've got things like, uh, I'm gonna restore those headlights. Um, Got this other wing to do as well. Look, I haven't even touched that side yet. So that'll be fully done as well. I have new front discs and pads to fit. And we've also got this rear boot to kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. Um, I might try and touch it up with a bit of paint and see how it looks. Cause otherwise I've got to try and paint the whole rear boot lid. I don't know if it's worth it. So I might touch it up first, see what it looks like. Um, we've got a new boot handle to fit. We've got the exhaust to sort out because I've fitted the catback system, but I need to mate it up to the downpipe. I'm sure there's some other bits. I can't remember at the moment. Um, I'll look at my list, but let's get into the workshop, up on the ramp. I think we're gonna tackle the exhaust first of all. And also guys, back by popular demand, as you know by now, the previous winner of the S3 chose to take the cash alternative. And I've had a lot of people messaging me saying they want the S3 back up for competition. I did a poll on Instagram and YouTube and around 80% of you, 75% said to get it back on. So if it all goes wrong, I blame you, but the S3 is back up on Compete for Cars now guys. So go get your tickets, link is in the description. Same tickets, one pound one, one pound one, one pound 99, but this time I have lowered the odds. There are less tickets available, giving you a better chance to win. So go grab your tickets for the S3 guys. Because at the minute, she is a bit fruity. Now, my main job is trying to mate this up with the uh, system. Oh no, it's making the fit, it's too, too short. So, I believe I've got to take some off of the, oh, I don't even know. I've got to take some off of the down pipe there. And also there's a section here I need to add in. So I took the flexi back off and had to take about an inch off the flexi so I can get the rest of the system to sit in the right position. And once I've done that, it went in lovely. So all I had to do now was weld my exhaust sleeve onto the original exhaust so we can fit up our Scorpion catback system. And that went really well. And that is the little part there welded on. It's not perfect, I am no welder, but there is definitely no holes and it's definitely not gonna fall off. So therefore, it's as good as any.
And there we go, the full system is now in. Although it's not 100% pretty, doesn't matter. It's under the car and also it's, what, 15 year old car and it's more than adequate enough. It's absolutely solid, legal, there'll be no leaks. So we've just got one last thing to do. Sweet to me. Exhaust sweet. So I've roughly marked out with a bit of paper here exactly what I need to cut with my new bit of steel. And I've also marked out the holes for the wing. I've got my uh, piece of metal here, look. So what I'm gonna do is obviously cut that out once I've cut it out of here and I've confirmed the shape and then drill some holes and weld a couple of nuts on the back so then it basically it uh, can just be screwed straight in. So let's cut this out and give it a go. So I started cutting out my little shape and exactly what I needed and what I thought the rust went back to. The trouble is the more that I cut it, the more I found that the rust actually went further than I thought and I ended up having to cut out quite a bit more than I anticipated. Yeah, this is turning into a bit of a disaster. I've now got a massive hole. Um, and I'm gonna have to give up for the day, if I'm honest, because, well, give up on this bit anyway, because I've only got an electric welder. I have two settings, one and two, min and max. I'm on one, I'm on min, and I cannot get it to stop blowing holes. No matter what I do, it just blows. I mean, this is thin metal. It's probably only, what, a mil and a half, two mil thick at best. And as soon as I try and put a weld on it, it just blows straight through. Even on really clean metal here, which I've cut back to really clean metal, it's just blowing straight through it. So I can't do any more. Um, so I'm gonna get the welder guy that used to do the Caravel. Um, he's gonna come back out and try and weld this up. I mean, you can see there, look, where I've just tried to weld it and it's just absolutely awful. So I've cut back now to really good metal but I just still can't get it to do it. So um, I'm gonna just take that off. Right? Pointless. So I'm gonna get him to come back out and weld a whole new corner bit in and we'll implement my little bracket there for the wing as well. But that means I can do no more. I am so close to just saying bugger it, scrap the car, sell it for parts or whatever. Ugh, just, I'm this close. I've already thought to myself, can I just scrap it? Should I just scrap it? It's just more pain, it's more hassle than it's worth. Pain in the ass. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to fight the urge not to just bin this one off. And also just looking around, I need two CV boots as well. One there, you can see where it's, uh, there we go. And the same the other side, look, you can see it's that fair amount on that, so I need two CV boot kits. Um, really happy with my exhaust actually. Solid. It's a shame, I need tyres as well, look, I need a tyre there. At least one tyre. But I've done so much work, look. I've done so much work. I'm kind of losing the will to live on this one. Uh, what do we do? It's just more annoying because I can't fix that sill bit. I don't have the, the I don't have the equipment mainly. So I'm just kind of stuck with it and I think that's why I'm a bit aggy about it because I can't get it done. Um, and I mean, it's fine, it's just I don't have the equipment. I know the metal's absolutely fine. Um, so I think I should probably just plow on and do the discs and brakes, try and do the CV boots, get that other wing off, maybe paint the wings, so then all that's left. And the other thing is the welder can't come until next week, so that's annoying me as well because that means it's just dragging on a bit. So I think I'm just gonna try and do everything else and just have it so that's all that's left. Maybe take the wing off the other side and see if it's just as bad. And then we'll know if we've got two sides to do.
Well, things have just taken another turn for the worst, and this time, it's terminal. Now, I was just removing this wing here, just to check the same, similar damage to the other side. Uh, removed the wheel arch liner, which is somewhere, and yeah, I mean, we're changing the discs, well, was going to change the discs anyway, uh, but we were looking into the wheel arch, and yeah, the whole wing is just completely rusted through, look. And it goes right up there. Just all crumbles, all the way back there, look. And that is a, uh, a structural piece, and it goes right up into there as well, look. All of the inside of the chassis is completely rusted through. Now again, I don't proclaim to be an expert in um, the scrapping of vehicles, but I'm no longer comfortable repairing this car and getting it put back on the road. Um, because it, I think it's just the case of the more you look, the more I'm going to find. And I think I could be uh, in for an absolute minefield if I start stripping everything back. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to find. Don't get me wrong. Um, probably the deeper I go, the more protected it's going to have been. So there won't be as much problem. So it's prob the worst of it is probably that bit there. But it's just uh, the work now involved to replace that whole chassis leg there is just it's just too much for the value of the car so i'm dropping tools on this car and which is very very frustrating especially with the amount of work we've done especially with that rear end but it's just uh for me it's no longer a car that i want to work on It's, it's so frustrating because the amount of work I've done and also the money I've spent. It's got a whole new rear end, brand new Scorpion system, spent hours welding up that exhaust yesterday to get it all good. Back end of the car's sweet and then, yeah, get to the front and it's just a non-starter. That's going to teach me, it? That is a, a valuable lesson I've just learned and that is to make sure I strip the car fully and assess all damage before I start repairing and start spending money on a car. Lesson learned. I will not be doing that again. But that is how I learn, unfortunately. I don't learn by reading books. I learn by making mistakes on the job. And um, that's how I learn because, uh, yeah, it's an expensive mistake and I don't want to do that again. So, what's up next for the Cupra? As I said, it's a massive shame because the amount of work I've put into the car and the amount of new parts it's got on the back end especially. But yeah, it's one of those, I probably could repair it, but my I'm not comfortable repairing that chassis rail. Um, I'm not very, I'm not good at rust. I don't really have much experience with it. And so therefore when it comes to safety, it's not a risk that I, a risk that I want to take. So um, I'm not saying it can't be fixed. I'm just saying that I don't feel comfortable trying to fix that because I don't know anything about cutting back rust welding in new bits. It's just, especially when it comes to safety, it's a bit of a different ball game for me. So I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna sell it. So this could actually probably be a really good track car. It's um, got the right engine, front wheel drive. Yeah, it'd be a great track car to be fair. Um, as terms of price, I mean, I think it owes me about 3,000 pounds at the minute um, with all the new parts it's got on it. Obviously I'm not gonna get uh, much of that back. Um, but if someone wants to have a go at repairing it, I don't know, I don't really know. If you're like, yeah, there'll be people that specialize in repairing these and that'd be absolutely fine for them. So yeah, it's up to you. If you one of you guys wants it, let me know. Um, I think I'll take two grand for it as it is, two and a half if I leave the Scorp the brand new Scorpion the exhaust system on it, which is like a grand on its own. Um, so without the exhaust, two grand with, with the exhaust, two and a half grand for the car. 
obviously it's got um, everything else works in it, engine, lights, interior, it's probably worth four grand in parts minimum. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants it, do let me know. Otherwise, I'll just bung it on eBay and see what we get. Again, unfortunate end for the Leon Cupra, but I guess it goes to say that even though it could be saved, it doesn't mean it should. So I do hope you enjoyed the Cupra series, even up to the fatal end. Uh, please do let me know in the comments what you thought of the series. And also, you can have a go at me for not stripping the car entirely before I started spending loads of money on it. I will take all the criticism. That is absolutely fine. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.